today we're going to paint a little mini bunny sign. So you're given three colors of paint, bunnies, tails, and a wood block. You'll also, in addition to the kit, you'll need some paper towels and some water to wash your brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my background white and then I'm going to make my bunny one like the bluish gray that we have and one pink and I'll make the tails white as well. But you could do whatever combination of colors that you'd like. You can make your background pink, your bunnies white, or you could do whatever you'd like. But I am going to put two coats of white on my wood block and then I am going to start painting my bunnies. My wood block is drying I'm gonna get my bunnies so bunnies I am going to do one of the blue one pink and then with the tails white so I'm gonna start painting the bunnies first so you're gonna to have to put two coats on everything they are chalk paint so they're a little thicker um, but I'll just help you cover it better so I'm just gonna paint the bunnies if you want, you could do your edges too, but I don't, I'm gonna do my edges, I think, because you'll actually see them. After we paint our bunnies and our tails, I'm actually going to go back on my background and put some streaks in my background just to make it a little more interesting. All right, so I have one coat on him. Now I'm going to wash and dry my brush. And I have to wash it again. I have more blue on it. And I'm going to start with my bunny. So my bunny, I'm just going to use my pink. I'm gonna let those dry. Well, that first coat is drying, I'm gonna wash and dry my brush. I'm gonna paint my tails white. And white, you're definitely gonna need a couple of coats. So I'm gonna do 
one tail white. Two tails white. And now I'm gonna go back and put a second coat on everything. dry and while these are drying I'm just gonna move them aside just flip over I just put paper down just to protect my table I'm gonna get my whiteboard all right just so this isn't just a plain white background we're going to add some dry brushing so basically you're gonna take your brush you're gonna dry it out as best you can and then we are going to take a color I am going to mix a little bit on a cap of paint I'm gonna mix a little white with a little bit of my blue, gray, just to get a lighter version of that color. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry brush. So I have a little paint on my brush, I'm gonna take a bit of it off, and I'm just gonna go left to right on my background, and I'm just adding streaks of color. It's almost like distressing it a bit, making a rustic sign. So if you don't have, like how this looks after a while, you just paint white right on top of it. But you could put blue, you could put some of these blue streaks and then you could put a little, a little pink streak on top if you really wanna get crazy. So I'm just gonna keep on adding streaks. And then see if that area is a little dark for me. So I'm just gonna put, I'm not even washing my brush, I'm just going to take, put a little white, and I'm gonna dry brush some white over it. Just softens it a little bit. All right, so that looks good to me. So I'm gonna add some dry brushing to my bunny tails too. They aren't completely dry, but that's okay. Um, so I am gonna just put a little bit of that blue and I'm just adding blue streaks in one tail. Just a little, you'd hardly see it. My paint's still a little wet, but that's okay. So it's like blending a little bit. But this'll just give us dimension when we glue it on top of our bunny. So I'm gonna wash my brush after the blue. And my next one, I'm gonna add a little pink. Pink streaks to my other tail. put some white on top and I think that looks good for me now I'm gonna just place my bunny so how they're gonna look that'll look great so I'm gonna let everything dry if you want to add other details to your bunnies you can but I'm just leaving them as a solid color you could also add some dry brushing to those if you'd like I'm gonna let everything dry and then we're gonna come back with some glue and glue everything down. So my sign is mostly dry. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm just going to glue it. So I have just, I am using wood glue, but you could use, you could use any glue that you have. You could use Elmer's glue, school glue, tacky glue. You could even use crazy glue. Do not use like hot glue. It doesn't glue them down very well. So the first step, I like to lay out everything. Once I like my layout, I put my blue tail with my pink bunny and vice versa. I'm gonna just take each bunny, put a good amount of glue, not too much though, on him. 
and then push him down and glue the tail. And then I'm just going to repeat with the next bunny. this point I'm gonna let everything dry and then once it dries it's like a sign that you could hang up somewhere or just lean for a little spring decor in your house so I hope you guys have a great spring and I hope you had fun painting with me bye